AMP AD, AD being Alzheimer's disease, is an effort to bring the best and brightest minds from the public and the private sector together to find answers and ultimately a cure for this condition that so many people are worried about and affected by and where we really need those answers. One of the most important things in developing new treatments that are going to help patients is that you aim these treatments at drug targets that play a role in the development of the disease and where the drug is able to affect the outcome of the disease in a way that really helps the patient. So thank goodness there's the AMP Alzheimer's disease effort that allows the field to take a broader look at generating additional targets and providing the information to help the drug developers understand and validate these targets. I'm more optimistic today than I ever have been before about the future for treatment and early detection in Alzheimer's disease and Alzheimer's disease related dementias. We can build on all of the knowledge that we've accumulated in the past 20 to 30 years, but do that at an accelerated pace because we have additional dollars propelling us towards those discoveries. We chose to become involved because we saw the need for the Alzheimer's field to take advantage of big data that was being generated in science, especially around genomics. This type of data is too much for one individual research group or company to generate alone, so we felt it was important to become part of a consortium that could generate this data and analyze it in a coordinated manner. There was consensus that there would be two parts to AMP-AD. One part would look immediately to ongoing clinical trials, testing interventions for Alzheimer's disease. The second component or part of AMP-AD was the discovery identification of new candidate targets and molecules. The knowledge portal is a central feature of the AMP-AD target discovery project. It is the big data infrastructure that enables the rapid and broad sharing of data, methods, analytical results. The research teams discovered and made available over 100 novel target predictions. These nascent targets were made publicly available through the web-based interactive platform known as Agora. The community of researchers at large can uh, retrieve the AMPD target predictions and equally important can retrieve the data and analysis that led to these target predictions. We've already seen remarkable examples in which investigators who were not involved in generating AMPAD data have mined or analyzed those data and come through with very innovative and remarkable, at times unexpected, findings about what appear to be contributing factors for Alzheimer's like dementia. We first started using the Knowledge Portal back in 2015, uh, and really it's, it's turned out to be critical to the work that we've done in three main ways. Firstly, it let us build up a much more complete picture of what the biological context of individual viruses might be within the context of Alzheimer's disease. It also let us be very data-driven in our approach. We didn't need to go in with any particular hypotheses about this virus or that virus. We were able to look across all viruses. And thirdly, it let us very rapidly replicate our key result, which was an increased abundance of certain human herpes viruses. That's absolutely something we, we could not have done rapidly without the AMPD Knowledge Portal. With the data that we are generating through this public-private partnership and that we are placing in the data portal, researchers all around the world will be able to find new clues and advance the field for the development of new therapies for Alzheimer's disease. Our hope is that AMP-AD will ultimately give us those new therapeutic targets to go after because what we need are better therapies for people living with the disease today and their families.